hi welcome back to my channel today I am going to make for you three different little side dishes the first one is with shishiyo peppers I know I didn't know what it was either but yesterday I was at the fruit stand and I saw these pretty little peppers and they were all wrinkly and uh, they were 99 cents for the whole bag so I said oh I have to try this so when I got home I googled and found out that these little peppers are used in a lot of Japanese cooking. They're sort of sweet, they're not hot, but once in a while you will find a hot one, but not as hot as a jalapeno. And they're quick and easy to make. It's usually made as an hors d'oeuvre or an appetizer. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do with this, well before I tell you that, you will need salt, pepper, olive oil, thinly sliced onions, a quarter of an onion, and two sliced garlic cloves. Okay, so let's uh, put some pepper in this, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of olive oil. Now you swish it around with your hands. Make sure all of them are covered with olive oil. Okay, now all we have to do is put them in the frying pan and let them blister. Blister, que se quemen un poquito. Okay, now they're in the frying pan. And now we'll add the onions. garlic and we'll mix and keep mixing until the onions are soft and all the uh, peppers are blistered they are so pretty okay see how beautifully they are bl blistering Look at that, look at that color. We still have a little ways to go. I want them all looking like that because that gives them an extra flavor. Just keep turning them. And we should soon be there, but always keep stirring until most of them have that color. Okay, this is our first side of shishiro peppers. Aren't they beautiful? And they smell so good and taste so good. I just tasted one and it was a little bit hot. They say out, out of every 10 sweet ones, you had one hot one. I got the hot one, but it's not that hot. It's not intolerable. See the little pieces of onion and garlic on it, which adds a lot more flavor to it. Real savory. Okay, now let's get ready for our second side dish. Okay, now it's time to make my second side dish. I decided to make a fresh cucumber and cherry tomato salad. For this, you will need <clears throat> one and a half cup of uh, cherry tomatoes, two cucumbers, medium size, a quarter of a red onion, a quarter of a white onion, the uh, juice of one lemon and uh, some scallions. First of all, let me show you how I cut my cherry tomatoes. <clears throat> this trick I learned by watching videos on the uh, on YouTube and I found this to be very time-saving and it works. Okay, uh, to do this you use one of these covers for those uh, Chinese takeout containers and you put the cherry tomatoes in there then you put another one on top and you take a very sharp knife and you cut through it. This is a great time saver and it works. I did uh, one before and here they go. They're all halved. 
this is a great time saver. This is a good trick. Now, there's another bunch. It's not going to fill this up, but you put them together like that, cover it, and do the same thing all over again. And there are your cherry tomatoes, beautifully halved. Now the cucumber. I washed well, and I'm going to peel it before cutting it up. I'll show you how I did that. Gotta be careful with this peeler, it's very sharp. You wanna leave some green in there, cause it looks pretty. Okay. Now, you'll cut it in half. And um, I like to take the seeds out of the middle. Some people, <coughs> excuse me, get uh, stomach problems if they eat the seeds. So I'll take this over to the sink and take out the seeds. It's easy. Okay, one down, one to go. <clears throat> okay. Now I like to cut my cucumbers into small pieces. I don't want big chunks in the salad, so I cut it in half and then I slice it this way. See, leaving that green in makes it look so pretty. Okay, let me get my bowl. <clears throat> and I'll put in my cucumbers. I'll add my tomatoes. Okay, let me cut the rest of the uh, cucumbers up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I just finished cutting all my cucumbers up and look how pretty this is starting to look. <clears throat> now I'm going to cut up my onions, very thinly sliced. Tear them apart and put them all over. Now I'll take my white onion and do the same. Okay. And now, the green onion. Just one, one bunch like this is good enough. I'll probably use about half of this stalk. Okay, that should be good enough. mix this up and see how it looks. Beautiful. And it'll, it's already starting to smell delicious. Okay. Now we're ready to make our dressing. I'll be using some olive oil. Like a third of a cup. And 
the juice of one lemon. And even though I use the lemon, I still like to put a little bit of vinegar in it. So I'll put a dash of vinegar in there. Okay. I like to add a little bit of sugar. I'll put in like a tablespoon of sugar. That should be enough for that. And salt to taste. Some pepper. About a teaspoon of honey. Teaspoon and a half, that is. And my a dash of my um, 10 spice sazonador seasoning. This will really make it taste delicious. Should do it. Let me stir. And I should have really done this before uh, cutting up the salad to let it blend in all those spices and stuff. But now we'll pour it over the salad. it and make sure this dressing goes over all the vegetables. And last but not least, I like to put a little bit of shredded carrots in there. So there we go. So beautiful. That is it. Simple, savory, and sabroso. Now this, you'll put your refrigerate for about uh, an hour before serving or even overnight because uh, the vegetables are sturdy so nothing there will wilt. And um, you could serve this uh, as a, another side dish on spaghetti night. You'll have the salad next to rice or just alone as it is. Now, we'll cover it up and put it in the fridge and I'll see you in a few minutes to make my third side dish. Okay, for my third side dish, I am just getting lazy and I just peeled one green plantain and I'm sorry, I thought the camera was recording because I wanted to show you how I peel and slice my plantains. Uh, at an angle like this. I cut them very thin because I'm getting lazy and I don't want to fry them, crush them and fry them again. Um, this will work and it'll come out just as good. Okay, as you see I have sliced thinly my pl green plantain and now I am going to put it in the frying pan. Okay, there are my plantains. They've been frying for a couple of minutes. Now it's time to turn them. and get them cooking on the other side. They're getting slippery there. They don't want me to turn them. Okay. Another couple of minutes and they should be ready. Okay, there are my fried plantains. I put them on a paper towel to drain before. And um, now they're ready to eat just about. But I like to make my little garlic sauce, my little mojito to uh, spray, uh, brush on top of them. I use my uh, cilantro garlic paste 
that I made for you before. You can find it on my channel. All I do is add some olive oil, a little salt, and let me get some pepper. I like to put some pepper too. A little pepper. And of course, my sazonador, which will give it the sabroso taste. Like that. And I like to stir it with the brush that I'm gonna be using. And now I'll brush on this garlic sauce all over them. How good does that look? And there you go. They're ready to eat. My tostones, my third side dish. Well, I thank you very much for watching my channel. I hope you like these three side dishes, which can be used for, for anything, any type of uh, dish you make. And um, if you like these recipes, please give me a like below and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, remember to always keep it simple, savory, and sabroso. God bless.